Wonderful. Vincent Ba, Shabbat Shalom to everyone. Ito ay a uh, recorded uh, video teaching. Today is the third of Cheshvan. Tapos na ang month of Tishrei. We go to the next month, which is the month of Cheshvan, 5782. Also, today is October 9, 2021. And we are going to study two parashiyot. Parashat Breshit and Parashat Noach. We are late dahil ngayon, all the house of Israel, both Messianic or Orthodox, <clears throat> non-Messianic, we are on one parasha. And that, and that is parasha Noach. But for the sake of, of uh, our lesson, and we have to catch up in the... We, Hindi tayo mag-miss out ng isang uh, parashat. Parashat means portion of scripture or uh, a passage of scripture na pinagpipistahan ng buong sambahayan ng Israel. Makikita natin ang pagkakaiba no? sa, sa mga ibang churches without sounding uh, negative or condescending. Of course, that is not my heart. But for the sake of teaching, makikita natin, hindi ba? Iba-iba yung mga mensahe. Iba-iba yung mga mensahe sa likod ng mga, ng mga pulpits. Iba-iba. Sa denominations, iba-iba. Pero sa House of Israel, iisa lang. Pag Shabbat, isa lang ang pinagpipistahan na Word of God. And this Shabbat, this week's Shabbat, is the parashat no walk. So, <clears throat> let me just move, let me just move this over here. All right. <clears throat> so, let's, now let us open our Tanakh. Kung kayo ay merong mga Koren Tanakh, if you have your Koren Tanakh with you, I'm sure you do. Marami, marami na sa inyong meron na. So we are going to start reading Breship chapter 1, verse 1 from the mother tongue Hebrew. From the Lashon HaKodesh. <clears throat> so chapter 1, verse 1 says, Breshit bara Elohim et hashamayim ve'et haaretz. Breshit bara Elohim et hashamayim ve'et haaretz. Take note, the first word is breshit. Breshit. What is the meaning of breshit? I sabi sa English in the beginning. Tapos yung bara, what is the meaning of bara? The meaning of bara is created. Tapos what is Elohim? Elohim is not a name. It is a title. It is a title of the God of Israel. Not a name, but it is a title. Kaya, dito sa three words, Breshit, bara, Elohim. Isa-isahin natin yan. We will dissect it. Breship is in a word that has a prefix bait. The prefix bait. That is this one, bait. And then the root word is reshit. Can you say reshit? <clears throat> Ang ibig sabihin ng ng bait, ng, ng prefix bait ay in. In. Parang nasa loob. Parang ganun. In. Tapos yung reship, the word reship, it means first. 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 Kaya pag binasa mo to, pwede mong sabihin at first. Or ito ay binasa mo pa on a deeper level 
Etong reship nito, this word reship has a root word again. And the root word is, can you please mute your gadgets? Merong maingay. All right, thank you. So, this word reshit has another root word, and the root word is ro, uh, reish <clears throat> alef shin. And the word is rosh, rosh. So, napag-aralan na natin, ang ibig sabihin ng rosh ay head. Head, ulo. Okay? The head. So dito sa Rosh, meron siyang suffix. May prefix bait, may suffix yod, et tav. Yod means the thought. Tav means a mark or a sign of a covenant. So pag binasa mo itong brace it speaks of the mind of God concerning his covenant. All right? Breshit means sa loob ng kaisipan ni Hashem na patungkol sa kanyang tipanan. That is the meaning of breshit. It is in the first of the first verse of the first book of the Torah. It is very important because it speaks of the first is the mind of Hashem that concerns the thought about the covenant of Hashem. So the next word is the word bara. Can you say bara? Everybody say bara. bara. The meaning of bara is created created but take note this word bara is a singular verb i repeat bara is a singular verb bakit siya naging singular verb students what is the reason anong dahilan kung bakit siya singular verb bakit ang sagot because of the noun elohim which is a title of Hashem, Elohim is singular. Singular. Elohim is singular. Dito nagkamali ang theology ng maraming mga kilalang religion. Sinasabi nila, God is plural. Kaya merong three persons in one God. Or meron Trinity. But don't you know that theological teaching is not accurate? It is not based from the truth. Why? Because the word Elohim or Elohim is a singular noun. Okay? Dahil kapag ito ay plural na sinasabing Trinity or three persons in one God, this verb cannot be bara. It has to be this brishit bara-u. Bara-u. Not bara. Bara-u is a plural verb. Okay? Plural verb. Kasi Elohim is plural. But it is not plural. So definitely, bara is correct. Bara-u, plural verb, is wrong. So balik tayo doon sa reship, bara, verb singular. Elohim is singular. Saan ba nakuha ang title ni Hashem na Elohim? Ito siya. Pag sinabi mong singular, you can pronounce it as Eloha. Eloha. Singular. 
Ang tanong, bakit ginawang Elohim? Then it must be plural? No, it is not plural. It is still singular. Because God is one. Remember, Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. The Lord is God. The Lord is one. So, yan ang pinaka-importanting foundational teaching of each and every one of us. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. So, bakit ginamit yung term na Elohim? The word Elohim is taken from two words, El. El, El means the, the master and him is a plural word that means powers, powers. So pag binasa mo yan, the master of all powers. Ibig sabihin, lahat ng mga powers dito sa buong, buong heavens and earth ay nanggagaling lang sa isang source at yan ay nanggagaling kay Elohim the master of all powers he is sovereign walang ibang may kapangyarihan kung hindi si El si God of Israel binibigyan lang niya ng authority binibigyan niya ng kapangyarihan para ito ay magpatupad ng kanyang kalooban. But still, the source and the master of all powers belongs to God of Israel. So let us not forget that. So in beginning, in the very thought, in the mind of God, to grace sheet, the thought of God concerning His covenant, He created He created the et. He created the Aleph Tov. The Aleph Tov represents the 22 Hebrew letter of the alphabet. Now from the 22 Hebrew letter of the alphabet, he, he formed, he spoke the word out of the 22 letter Hebrew alphabet. He created out of the 22 Hebrew letter alphabet the heavens, Hashemayim, Ve'er, Haaretz. Do you understand? Now, may I, ha I have a question. Bakit hindi binaligtad ni Hashem? Bakit hindi niya sinabing Breshit, Bara, Elohim, Et, Haaretz, Ve'er, Hashemayim? Bakit? Bakit hindi niya sinabing at first, in the mind of Hashem, his thought about his covenant, he created the earth and the heavens. Bakit niya sinabing he created the heavens and the earth? That is a question. Bakit hindi haaretz ve'ep hashamay? There is an answer to that. But let us go back to that. Uh, in the in the end of this topic so take note take note for for example here this this uh, Breshi chapter 1 verse 1 ay patungkol doon pa lamang sa umpisang kaisipan ni Hashem at first in his head in his thought he created at the Aleph and the Tav the 22 Hebrew letter, and out of the 22 Hebrew letter comes the heavens and the earth. So let us continue. So verse 2, so verse 2, this is what we are going to read. Verse 2, Beha'aretz haita tohu vavohu Ve'choshech al pinei tehom. 
והארץ הייתה תוהו ובוהו וחושך על פני תהום. And the earth was without form, it is empty and void, וחושך על פני תהום, and darkness was moving on the surface of the deep. So ano ibig sabihin ito? And the earth was astonishingly empty and darkness was on the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the water. So verse 2, may sinabi rito, the earth, not the heavens, now the earth, Vehaaretz hayta tohu vavohu. What is tohu vavohu? Ang ibig sabihin, sabi rito, and the earth was astonishingly empty and void. But that is a poor translation. Tohu means with potential, vavohu, without actu actualization. Yung tohu, sabi sa English, it is empty, it is chaos, it is formless. So pag pinicture mo sa kaisipan mo yan, ito ay sinira ng Panginoon. God destroyed. So verse 2, God destroyed. Yung verse 1. But don't you know, God is in the business of rebuilding. He is always in the business of rebuilding, restoring, rectifying all things that He has created. So kapag merong sinira ang Panginoon, hindi ang ibig sabihin, ito'y wala ng, wala ng kwenta. Ang ibig sabihin nito, ito ay, ito ay ibinalik ng Panginoon doon sa kanyang potential. Potential. May potential. Kaya lang merong bohu. Sabi, tohu vavohu. Ibig sabihin sa English, sa mga translations, it is chaos, it is destroyed, it is empty, and it is void. Baliwala. But Hebrew says, no, it has a potential, but it needs actualization. Do you hear me? Meron siyang potential, pero yung potential na yung baliwala yun, kung hindi ito isasagawa. Isasagawa. It has to have an actualization. Remember, remember this. God makes all things beautiful. He makes all things beautiful for His glory and for His honor. I'll give you an example. Ano ang pagkakaiba? ng lupa sa Missouri at sa Sacramento, i-compare dito sa lupa sa Tondo, sa Smoky Mountain. What is the difference between the earth or the soil in Sacramento and Missouri compared with the earth or the lupa, the soil, there in Tondo in Smoky Mountain. What is the difference? The difference is how you plan to do about the soil. It is same soil. Parehong lupa yan. The same composition. Earth. Lupa. Walang halaga kung titignan mo. Walang Pero kapag ito ay pinlano mong gawin na isang progresibong lungsod, Tinayuan mo siya na matataas na building, binigyan mo ang commercialize. 
you will achieve its potential to its maximize potential. Kapag ito ay inactualize mo. Pero kapag ito ay hinayaan mo lang, tigang, you're not doing anything of the earth, the soil, then it is worth of little value. Napakamura ng halaga. Maari yung halaga sa Missouri o yung halaga sa Sacramento will be thousands of dollars per square foot versus etong halaga ng lupa sa Tondo, Manila, sa Smoky Mountain. Suguro ang presyo ng, ng lupa dyan ay baka few hundreds of peso per square meter. Bakit nangyari yun? Kasi hindi na-achieve yung potential ng lupa. Do you get my point? Also, the reason why God made a destruction in verse 2, Veha Aretz, Haita, Tohu, Vavohu, ito ay kanyang i-rebuild. Ibig sabihin, kahit na anong creation, kahit na sinong creation, pag ito ay sinira ng Diyos, mayroong mataas na potential to achieve to achieve its maximum plan of God. Sa Diyos, walang basura. Sa Diyos, walang tapon. Sa Diyos, parating may pag-asa. That is the meaning of verse 2. Kaya naman, kaya naman, ang sabi, and the Ruach Elohim, ang sabi rito sa verse 3, Ang sabi rito ay Ed Veruach Elohim Merachefet Alpinei Hamayim And the Spirit of God was moving upon the surface of the waters. So take note of that. Ando doon ang Ruach Elohim always ready to build up what has to be rebuilt. Hindi ito waste, hindi ito chaos, hindi ito empty for nothing. Let's move on. Let's move on. In Bracey chapter 2, verse 4, ang gagawin ko na lamang ay highlight ko na lamang kasi kung ito ay, uh, ay uh, iisa-isahin natin ay hindi tayo matatapos ito. Ang ibig sabihin itong verse 4 ng chapter 2, Pag binasa mo siya, Ele toldot hashamayim veha, veha aretz vehi bar am bayom asot hashem elohim eretz ve shamayim. Listen, tiyan mo yung general translation sa English. Sabi rito, and this are the generations. These are the generations. There. These are the generations of the heavens and the earth when they were created on the day the Lord God made the earth and the heaven. Yan ang general translation sa English Gentile Bibles. But don't you know, that is, this is not a good and accurate translation of this Hebrew verse. Bracey chapter 2 verse 4, it says, Ele toldot, ele this plural, T-H-E-S-E, hindi siya T-H-I-S. Because ele means, ele means plural, this. Pag sinabi mong this, T-H-I-S, ang tawag dyan zot, zot. Pero hindi naman siya zot, singular yung zot. It is plural, so ele toldot. These are the generations, pero 
These are the products. This is a good translation. These are the products, vehashamayim, the products of the heavens, vehaaretz. Tapos sinabi, ulitin ko ha, these are the products of the heavens and the earth. Tapos sabi rito, vehibaram, vehibaram biyom asot this yod hey vav and hey we call it hashem or if not adonai that is the jewish use to call the title of god of israel hashem elohim tapos sabi rito eretz beha be i want to take i want you to look at this word this word, Behi Baram. And sabi sa translation, when they were created, and these are the products of the heavens and the earth, when they were created, Behi Baram. Alam niyo ba kung ano meaning nitong Behi Baram? Behi Baram, if you flip the letters, if you flip the letters, we will see the name Avraham. Avraham. If you flip the letters, put the Aleph and the Beit and the Hey and the Resh and the Mem, this will be Avraham. What is the meaning of this? God made the heavens and the earth for his servant, Abraham Avinu. Are you listening? Verse 4, naririto na ang pangalan ni Father Abraham. The products of the heavens and the earth is in Behibaram, is in Avraham. Beyom Asot Hashem Elohim Eretz Beshamayim. Fantastic. This is powerful. God created the heavens and the earth for his servant Avraham Avin. Why? The, the question is why? Because Abraham will be used by God to restore to restore the fallen state of humanity. Through his servant Abraham, the house of Israel will start. Through the faith of Abraham, the house of Israel, the descendants of Abraham will start. In Abraham, the products of the heavens and the earth, in Abraham, in the day God created. Hashem Elohim created the earth and the heaven. Bakit hindi sinabing the heavens and the earth? Why? Because our father Abraham will be the restorer through faith of the heavens and the earth. I hope you can understand this simple teaching. Do you understand? Malabo ba? Bakit si Abraham? Bakit si Abraham? Na hinihintay ni Hashem para mag-start para mag-start ng isang bayan na magiging katipan 
ni Hashem. What is important if I may ask you? Walking with God or walking before God? Nung ako ay nagturo sa sacramento, I ask this question, what is important? Walking with God or walking before God? Can you please answer? Hello, walking Pastor, with God. Walking with God or walking before God? May I ask somebody, huwag lang sila, huwag lang si Jerry, mukhang alam na to, sahil ang tagal na niyang, huwag si Jerry. <laughs> I will ask, I will ask uh, Manny, I will ask James, I will ask uh, Alex. Huwag na rin yata si, uh, si Manny, alam na rin yata kasi nag- Nando doon siya sa sacramento nung itinuro ko to eh. What is important for you? Walk, walking God. with God or walking before, before God? Before. Ang sagot ni Manny, both. Before God. Ah, before God, ang sagot ni Manny. What is the answer of Aris? Ano mahalaga? Walking with God or walking before God. May I ask James, what is important? James, can you hear me? Can you answer the question? What is important? Walking with God or walking before God? Walking with God. Walking with God. The answer of James is walking with God. The answer of Mani is walking before God. How about si Brother Aris? What is the answer of Aris? Walking with God or walking before God? Walking with God. Walking with God. So two answers minus one answer. <laughs> so versus one, two, <laughs> Yung asagot ni, ni uh, Brother Money. How about Brother Ray? Brother Ray, what is your answer? Walking with God or walking before God? Walking with God. Ang sagot ni Brother Ray ay walking with God. So, three versus one. Tatlo na yung nagsabing walking with God. Mas maimportante yun kesa dun sa Walking before God. May I just bring you back to Genesis 2, uh, Genesis 2, 4, and it says, Elay told Dot, Hashemayim Beha Aretz, and these are the products of the heavens and the earth, Behi Baram, in Abraham. This is a play of words, this is a sod. Sod means mystery and deep secret. From Torah. Here, kita na natin si Father Abraham. Why? Because if you flip the letters, you will see Aleph, Beit, Resh, He, he and Sofit Mem, which is Abraham. So, God created the heavens and the earth in Abraham for the sake of his servant Abraham why because through Abraham the faith and trust will start from the heart of Abraham bakit bakit why because Abraham walked before God he did not walk with God. He walked before God. Whereas, listen to me very carefully. Whereas, whereas in Brishi chapter 6 verse 9, a man by the name of Noah, he did not walk before God, but instead he walked with God. Ano ang pagkakaiba ng walking with God sa walking before God? This is the this is the Hebrew word. 
hit halek eto hit halek no walk hit halek no walk ang ibig sabihin ng hit halek no walk no walk walk with god in other words kapag si no walk ay sasamahan ni Hashem sa kasalalakad kasama ng Diyos. Kapag kasama siya ni Hashem, kapag hinawakan siya ni Hashem, saka siya sasama sa Diyos. Pero kapag wala si Hashem, hindi siya gagalaw. Nakuha ninyo? Ano ang pagkakaiba ni Noah kay Abraham? Si Abraham ay ito ang word. This is the word. Where is that? There. Rishi chapter 17 verse 1. And Avram was 99 years old. And God appeared to Avram. And he said to him, I am the almighty God. Walk before me and be perfect. Walk before me and be perfect. Magbibigay ako sa inyo ng example. Kung may anak ka, ang anak mo ay 4 years old, tuturuan mo siyang mag-bicycle, ay you will, you will walk with your son or with your daughter para siya ay matutong mag-pedal ng bicycle because he cannot or she cannot ride the bicycle because siya ay bata pa, she's little or he is little because she's just or he is just four years old. So you walk with your son or your daughter. Pero siguro, masyado namang nakakapagtaka naman kung yung anak mo ay 15 years old na and you are still walking with your son or daughter training him to ride a bicycle. Parang, parang it doesn't make sense. Parang you are teaching your daughter or your son to be inactive, non-productive. Kasi by the time kung siya ay 15 years old, dapat marunong na siyang mag-pedal, marunong na siyang mag-bicycle. Kasi 4 years old pa lang, tinuturuan mo na siya. So what is the analogy behind it? The analogy is God will always train us. Train us to trust Him. Train us to walk with Him for a certain period of time. But not all the time. Pero ang gagawin ni Hashem sa atin, lalayo siya at kapag sinabi niyang, Anak, andito ako. Come here. Ano bang sasabihin natin? Aba, hindi ako lalapit sa iyo. Kailangan lumapit ka sa akin. Hold my hand. Walk with me, Aba. Sasabihin ni Aba, No, you can hear me. You can hear me. Follow the voice. Walk before me. Pag sinabi ng bata, No, Abba, I will not I will not move an inch hanggang sa ikaw ay lumapit sa akin at alalayan mo ako. Don't you know that that is not acceptable with God? We are commanded by God to walk by faith and not by sight. We are commanded by God to obey Him and walk before Him according to To the word of God. According to His promises. Not according to our terms and condition. Nasusunod ako sa iyo, Panginoon. Kung ahawakan mo ang kamay ko, kung titiyakin mo na ayos ang magiging aking kahihinatnan, sasabihin ng Panginoon, No, you have to walk by faith and not by sight. That is why si Father Abraham ang kinilalang ang kinilalang father of faith. He is known as the father of 
faith. Ang sabi sa Romans chapter 4 verse 12 sa Tree of Life version. Are you listening here? Ang sabi sa chapter 4 verse 12 of Romans, also he, referring to Abraham, is the father of the circumcised, ibig sabihin the Jewish people, to those not only circumcised, but walking in the footsteps of the trust of our father Abraham before his circumcision. In other words, ito yung pinaka marching order ni Hashem sa lahat ng mga anak ni Abraham in the faith that we are to walk in the footsteps of the trust of Father Abraham and not just walk with Abraham. This is the word of God. That is why as sinabi ng Panginoon in the, in the chapter 6 of Reishit, ang sabi niya, lahat daw, lahat daw ng nasa lahi noong panahon na yon ay puro corrupt, puro evil, wicked. Ang sabi, Ele toldot, eto na naman, these are the generations of Noah. Noah ish sadik. Tingnan mo, kinilala si Noah as an ish Sadek. Ano ibig sabihin ng Ish Sadek? Noah was considered a righteous man in his generation. Bakit sinabing his generation? Kasi yung generation niya puro korap. The only one who is considered righteous is Noah. Noah. Pero ang sabi ng scripture, Noah walked with God. In other words, Noah was a passive righteous man. He was not an active righteous man. Nandudun lang siya. Pag may nagtanong sa kanya, saka siya magsasalita. Anong ginagawa mo? Why are you doing that crazy thing? Building an ark? Saka magsasalita si Noah. Pero kung hindi siya tatanungin, hindi siya lalapit sa mga tao. Hindi siya aabot sa mga tao. Hindi siya tunay na magsusoul win sa mga tao. Hihintay niya yung mga tao ang lalapit sa kanya. Pero siya ay hindi lalapit sa mga tao. Yun ang pagkakaiba ni Abraham Avido who is the father of our faith. Kaya siya tinawag na father of our faith. Dahil siya mismo ang nag-aaksyon. He is walking according to his faith and trust and confidence in his God. He doesn't need to be told. Hindi na siya kailangan pang tawagin pa. Hindi na siya kailangan pang pakaramdaman ng presensya ng Diyos. No, he made the presence of God Where he goes, he brings the presence of God because his person is being dwelt with the presence of God. Ang presensya ni Abraham Avinu is where the presence of God dwells. Kaya si Abraham ang nagdadala ng presensya ng Diyos. Si Abraham ang nagdadala ng Torah ng Diyos, si Abraham ang nag-divinivrek ko. Siya ang nag-graft in ng mga tao para pumasok sa kaalaman at pakikiisa sa Diyos na lumikha ng langit at lupa. This is the end of day 14 of the Hebrew Torah class. That is why it is very, very important to learn the scripture from the mother tongue Hebrew. I understand. Please look at me for a while. Please look at me. I understand na hindi para sa lahat 
ang pag-aaral ng pure language. Why? Because if you will not truly commit yourself, God will not commit His Torah to you. If you will just be a half-half, God will not reveal His holy Torah to you. That is, that is a bad news, but you have to know that the Torah is the very blueprint and the very bedrock of God's word. The Torah is not the law. It's not a law. It is the word of the Almighty God of Israel. It is the teaching. It is the direction. It is the guidance. It is the instruction. It is the commandment of God. Love God by knowing God. In the Torah, there is no such thing as believe in God. In the Torah, it says, know God. Kilalanin mo ang Diyos. And how are you going to know God? You spend quality time and commitment. Commitment to study His Torah from the mother tongue Hebrew. If you cannot do that, well, God will not also be interested in you. You go back to the quick fix, easy teaching from the pulpiteers, from the Gentiles. But if you want to be close to Hashem and know the heartbeat of Hashem from the mother tongue Hebrew, then commit your heart, your time in the study of his Torah from the mother tongue Hebrew. And I guarantee you, he will prosper your soul. He will surely reward you with an everlasting rewards. And he will use you mightily, mightily to so many other serious, sincere, faithful, committed believers. Baruch Hashem, I pray that you will be blessed with the starting study of the Torah from Breshit, from the book of Genesis. I encourage you to study by yourself the Hebrew scripture. At kung kayo ay tunay na nagdidisar to know more. And if you want to be tutored, if you want to learn the Hebrew scripture from the mother tongue Hebrew, I am more than willing to add one more class. Paaring yun ay Tuesday or Wednesday. Kasi kalagitnaan, di ba, ng Shabbat ay, ay uh, maaring Tuesday, yun ang kalagitnaan, or Wednesday. So sa Amerika, yun naman ay Tuesday, ganun. But if you are only serious, I can, I can truly invest more time from no-nonsense students that will commit their time, their hearts, and their souls for the study of God's Torah. Baruch Hashem. Hallelujah. If you have been, if you have been uh, blessed with this, I'm telling you, and to others who will be hearing this video teaching, if you are not committed, better discontinue. Because nothing will happen to you. I am a man of truth. I love you because I speak the truth. The only way you will learn Hashem's Torah from the Hebrew scripture, 
That is if and only if you will spend time. Commitment is the word. If you don't have commitment, pag meron ka lang spare time, if you are just a, a, uh, a, 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 a person who want to increase your head knowledge in order to learn more of the Hebrew and, and receive more accolades and degrees, this is not the right place. This is not. Because God knows our hearts. He knows our hearts. Kaya, I'm just being very honest with you, not to the people I'm before, hindi alam ko kayo ay committed, pero to those who will be hearing this video teaching, nako, I will not apologize these words. This is the words of love na bihira mo nang maririnig sa panahon ngayon. Sa panahon ngayon, huwag ka lang umalis sasabihin, it's okay, it's okay, God understands. Oh no, 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 no. What is not okay will never be okay. We're dealing with the highest study and that is the Torah from the mother tongue, Hebrew. Kahit nga yung mga nag the doctorate degree, tapos na ng doctorate degree, nag-double doctorate degree, I know, I know I have friends na naka-double doctorate degrees na sila. But know nothing, know nothing of the Hebrew scripture and Torah. And it's, it breaks my heart. Now, God is calling the nations of the world to learn Torah, presenting our Lord and Savior, Yeshua the Messiah, through His Torah and His Tanakh. Better learn the mother tongue Hebrew because it had been prophesied by Prophet Sephania in chapter 3, verse 9, that God will restore the pure and holy language. And He will. And because He will, Bakit hindi na tayo mag-jump start para matuto na tayo as early as possible. God bless you, my friends. God bless you. If you had been blessed, if you had been challenged, I tell you, purchase a Hebrew, English, Korentanach. You will not be sorry. It will cost only around $50 or $60 depending upon the, the cover, if it's a leather bound or if it's a hard bound, if it's a paper bound, it's for your soul. I'm telling you, it's going to be a blessing. You will learn a lot. Ang theology natin ay may tatama mula doon sa mali-maling katuruan na ating nasaga in the past. Okay. And you are here because you are also commanded by God to teach others, and others will teach to others. And the, the coming of the King Mashiach. Marami na po ang nagsasabat, marami na ang nagkikip ng Pesach, ng Shavuot, ng Sukot, dahil lahat ng ito, Shabbat, Pesach, Passover yon, yung Shavuot, Pentecost yon, yung Sukot, Tabernacle yon, Alam mo ba kung saan mo yung malalaman at matututunan at madidiskubre? Lahat yun po ay nasa Torah and Tanakh. Kaya if you don't know this, nako, napakasayang po. Napakasayang. Start it. You will, not, you will not regret it. Whoever you are, whatever you are, God is no respecter of person. This is time. We are running out. I believe that we are running out. There is basically a few more years before the return of King Mashiach Yeshua. Whether you believe it or not, it will happen. The question is, if you are not aware, if you are not prepared, Will you risk? Will you risk being left behind? 
Will you risk being left behind? Will you risk missing your great final salvation? Rav, how can you say that? Because I know the word of God. I know the Torah and I know the Tanakh. It's all there. I'm sharing it with you because God called me and commanded me to do so. And I bless Hashem because there are students now who already grasp the deep essence of God's Torah and His Tanakh. God bless you. If you are blessed, we are we are in the process of moving out palapaalis kami because uh, there is an ongoing construction and it's definitely difficult to continue ministering and also hindi na livable kasi the dust the smoke may construction dito sa amin uh, it's just around 5 meters away from our dwelling kaya we are going to transfer in a more uh, quiet place uh, and if you are if you are being blessed and inspired by God, there in the new place we are going to to build our mini studio. I'm believing God for a mini studio para hindi na sisigaw lahat mabilis na everything. Kaya if you are blessed, if you wanna if you all wanna send uh, your tithes or offering, it's all between you and Hashem. God bless you. May the God of Abraham, Yitzhak, and Yaakov bless you and empower you and prepare you for the days ahead. Prepare you for the coming of Melech Mashiach Sidkenu, whose name is Yeshua Hanotri, our Lord Yeshua of Nazarene. God bless you. Shabbat Shalom. And call to Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Amen. Everyone. Amen. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Brother Aris. Shabbat Shalom mm -hmm. sa inyong lahat. Shabbat Shalom, Brother Ray. Shabbat Shalom, Brother Manny, Brother uh, Jerry, Brother James. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom po. Okay. Amen. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.